In today's video, we are going to cover the Fortnite best competitive settings for this brand new chapter 4, season 4. And also this video includes the best colorblind mode for this new chapter, the best Fortnite in-game settings, the best config settings. And also at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can boost your FPS and get zero delay in Fortnite on your PC. So with wasting any time, let's dive straight into over this video. Before starting this video, here is a quick reminder guys, if you want to improve your latency or your ping, while you gaming with just one click so guys make sure to download the application gear booster link available down in the description go there and download this tool on your pc so guys in the very first step we are going to talk about our best in-game settings for the fortnite and the best color settings so for that you need to go for your three dots and go for the settings of your fortnite now once you are here in the first step here is the windows mode so you need to set it onto the windows full screen now go for the resolution and choose it according to your pc according to your pc specs so i have the 1920 by 1080p and work best for me next here is the frame rate limit and now you need to choose it according to your monitor here so i have 240 hertz monitor so i have set it onto the unlimited because i have a good pc then next here is the rendering mode set it onto the performance mode which best for low end pc users but right now i have adjusted on windows 11 for testing the directx 11 into the new season next guys here is the graphic settings we will talk about this later next here is the graphics quality so you need to uh, set it on the custom then turn off all the settings turn off the anti releasing and the super resolution the temporal super resolution set it on the recommended then 3d resolution set it on the 100 percent and set all the settings on to the low just change the view distance on to the epic after that go for the advanced settings and turn on the show fps then turn off the use gpu crash debugging and turn on the latency marker and set the nvidia reflect latency on on plus boost after this now go for the next option which is the screw icon and now you can simply follow the same settings also on your pc in the fortnite for having the better uh, performance here is some settings for your performance which is the nvidia highlights you can disable it if you want to get more fps then here is the report performance stat simply disable the settings and also you can turn off these replays on your uh, pc after applying all of the settings also turn off the enable ideal saving and turn off this both option now hit apply and after that now let's go for the uh, colorblind mode and guys in the colorblind mode i have tested all the colorblind on my pc and here you can check it out here the difference between all of this colorblind into this new chapter 4 season 4 and the best colorblind which i like which will work best in the daylight and the uh, nighttime that is the proton op and the color sense is on to the 7 percent and after that guys now simply close out your fortnite so guys now the next step you need to download these files on your pc these are completely safe just you need to avoid the pop-up ad on my website so simply for downloading this tool on pc open up the link from description and that will take you onto my this website and there you will find out the same exact article with the same thumbnail of my youtube video you are watching right now open up that article and download this pack on your pc after downloading this pack right click here and extract it here on your desktop and you will get this folder open up this folder and now you need to go for the first area file which is the game user settings so double tap here and drag this game user settings on your desktop after that right click here click on this copy button now press windows r together from your keyboard type your percentage local app data percentage and click on this ok button now find out here fortnite games folder save config windows client and simply paste it here and replace your file destination after that close out this window and now go for the next step again open up your boost pack and here we find out nvidia profile inspector.txt file so double tap here copy this link from here open up your browser and search it in the search bar on your browser now go for the asset option and go for the nvidia profile inspector zip file so click here on the zip file and here it will start downloading this for you now once you download this now simply drag it here on your desktop open up this file and inside here you will find out nvidia profile inspector so double tap here run this as administrator and after that here you will find out this kind of interface now you need to go for this profile section click on this drop down or simply search for fortnite and you will find out fortnite into this list select the fortnite and now you need to follow the same exact settings on your fortnite so guys here in the very first step of this application you will find out here sync and refresh settings and for that you need to go for the setting which is the frame rate limiter background application go for this option and you need to set it on to the 30 fps after that go for the frame rate limiter v3 and set it according to your refresh rate so i have 240 hz monitor so i will add here 5 to 10 percent more fps according to my pc so i'm going with 250 fps after that scroll down and find out maximum pre-rendered frames and this is the most important setting so you need to set it onto the one frame only next year is the preferred refresh rate set it onto the highest available 
after that here is the ultra low latency cpl straight set it onto the ultra and set the ultra low latency mode enable onto the on after changing the settings now scroll down and find out here the texture filtering settings and from here guys you need to go for the texture filtering negative lod bas and set it onto the allow after that go for the texture filtering quality and set it onto the high performance once you have applied all of the settings in your Fortnite, now simply click on this apply change button and this will apply all of the settings in your Fortnite. After that, close out the settings. And guys, now at the end, we are going to do some optimization for our windows. So for that, you need to go for your Windows Start icon and open up your window settings. In the very first step, you need to go for your gaming mode and turn off the Xbox game bar from here. Now go for the game mode tab and turn on the game mode on your Windows 10 or 11, whatever you are using. Now here on the right side, you will find out related settings tab. Open up the graphic settings. Turn on the hardware accelerator GPU scheduling because it will reduce your latency and improve your performance. And after that, go for this browse option, add here your Fortnite exit file, go for the option and set it onto the high performance, hit save and close out it. So guys, now in the next step, we are going to adjust the best power plan on our windows. So for that, you need to go for your windows search icon and search here power and sleep settings. So open up power and sleep settings, go for additional power settings and set it onto the bit some highest performance. If this power plan is not available on your PC, so you can guys watch my video from the description link down there of my this video, how to create the best power plan on on your windows for the gaming after that now simply one time restart your pc there for all the changes will take effect after that launch your fortnite and enjoy the best performance out of it i hope so you love this video so make sure to share your opinion in the comment section and to let the next video peace out